Idlib has become a source of escalating tensions between Turkey and Syria over the last few months. The situation has resulted from chaos provoked by the Syrian conflict. The Syrian civil war began on March 15, 2011 following violent waves of anti-government protests, which broke out first in the capital Damascus, and in Aleppo, calling for the removal of the Assad's regime. As the protest rallies were being violently suppressed, it escalated to a violent armed conflict, opposing the loyal Syrian government troops, to rebels, including foreign backers. The war has resulted in the largest humanitarian crisis, since the end of World War II. According to the United Nations, over 5 million refugees, have fled the country due to the conflict. Most of the refugees have fled to the Turkish border, triggering concerns of the Turkish government and European countries. Idlib become the last stronghold of rebels, after the Syrian regime successfully recaptured all previously lost provinces. As the Assad Russian-backed troops were bombing rebels' positions, with several casualties among civilians, thousands of rounds of refugees, were daily fleeing towards the last rebel stronghold, Idlib, and towards the Turkish border. To address the refugee crisis, the main belligerents, including Turkey, the Assad regime, Russia, and the rebels, have signed several ceasefires to create a safe zone for civilians. Such agreements were several times violated. The most notable ceasefire agreement was signed in 2018 between Russian President Vladimir Putin and Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Idlib is a large Syrian province bordering Turkey with over 3 million civilians. Most of the residents are displaced people from other regions of Syria following the collapse of the rebellion in cities such as Aleppo and Hama. Idlib is the last region that has long remained out of the control of the Syrian regime. Yet, to retake control of the Idlib region, the Assad regime, backed by Russia have launched several raids, and large-scale rounds of assaults, to crush the remaining opposition resistance, which is backed by Turkey. Turkey has been backing the rebels to avoid spills of further Syrian refugees, to its borders. The UN, aid groups as well as Turkey, have reported that a large-scale assault by forces of Bashar al-Assad regime, against the remaining rebels in Idlib, would lead to the displacement of over 800,000 refugees, across the border into Turkey. Such a situation, the Turkey government wants to, avoid. The Saatchi Deal on September 17, 2018, an agreement was reached between Turkey and Russia, to create a buffer zone in Idlib. The demilitarization zone, was aimed to end all assaults within the zone, and facilitate free civilian movements to and from neighboring provinces, the neutralization of terrorist militias, the evacuation of extremist groups, etc. The deal, which is also known as the Saatchi deal, also allowed Turkish armed forces, to build at least 12 observation posts, within the Idlib governorate. Nevertheless, the agreement was violated on September 19, with an attack by Syrian regime forces. Since then, several rounds of attacks have been reported, either by the Russia Assad-backed regime, or by Turkey-backed rebels. Over 1,300 civilians have been killed in the de-escalation zone, since the 2018 Turkey and Russia Saatchi deal, which was aimed to prohibit all acts of aggression, within rebel-held territory of Idlib. In January 2020, the Syrian regime, backed by Russian air support, continued to launch major attacks on rebel groups in northwestern Syria, triggering the displacement of over 200,000 refugees. Much of the refugees were fleeing to Turkey. On January 11, a new ceasefire in Idlib was agreed between Russia, Turkey, Syria, and rebels. On January 8, a car bomb attack against Turkish soldiers was reported in northeastern Syria. On January 15, at least 20 civilians were reportedly killed following Syrian army airstrikes that hit a market and an industrial zone in Idlib. On February 1, a fresh new attack was reported, against Russian units near Aleppo. 
attacks continued days and days, and by early February 2020, violence in Idlib forced the displacement of over 520,000 people out of their homes, according to humanitarian organizations on site. By February 18, the Russia-backed Syrian government forces and their allies captured over 200 towns, villages, and hilltops with large-scale assaults and airstrikes. On February 20, opposition fighters, backed by Turkey, launched a counteroffensive on Nairob. The offensive was launched with Turkish artillery support and reportedly with the participation of some Turkish officers. Following fierce fighting, Turkey-backed rebels managed to retake full control of some towns. A point of another fresh escalation. On February 27, 2020, at least 34 Turkish soldiers were killed in a Russian-backed pro-Assad airstrike in Idlib province. Russia later stated that the air raid was aimed at terrorists in the area, as they were not aware of the presence of Turkish soldiers in the zone. Turkey accused the Syrian regime of the deadly airstrike. Few hours after, Turkish army launched a series of retaliatory strikes, targeting several positions of the Syrian regime's forces, killing dozens of pro-Assad soldiers, and destroying a number of Syrians' army military installations. On March 1, 2020, Ankara announced the beginning of a military offensive against the Syrian Arab army, called Operation Spring Shield. According to Turkey's defense minister, at least 2,000 Syrian regime troops were killed in Turkish firepower, including the destruction of 103 tanks, 72 artillery and rocket launchers, and three air defense systems. At least two Russian made Syrian Air Force jets were also downed by the Turkish army. As the situation was dangerously escalating, Turkey demanded help from NATO and called on Europe for support, particularly concerning the crisis over refugees pouring into Turkey from Syria. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan declared on February 28 that Turkey would no longer stop refugees from crossing into Greece. Few hours later, thousands of migrants gathered along the Greek-Turkish border, sparking tensions and a fresh new situation of the crisis, while fighting were raging in Idlib region between belligerents. On March 5, 2020, in order to de-escalate the situation in Idlib, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and Russian President Vladimir Putin met in Moscow. After extensive talks, a ceasefire in Idlib province was then reached, on Thursday, March 5, between Turkey and Russia. Under the deal, Turkey and the Syrian regime will maintain control over the province of Idlib, while a 6 km wide security corridor will be established along each side of Idlib's key east-west M4 highway. The agreement also contains a joint Russian-Turkish patrol set to begin on March 15 along the highway. Despite the new ceasefire agreement, the situation in Idlib is still tense. Indeed, President Erdogan declared in the press conference announcing the deal that Turkey reserves the right to respond to any attacks from the regime. The Syrian conflict involves several parties, with competing interests on the ground, including the Syrian government, the Russian government, the Iranian government, the Syrian opposition, the Turkish government, several other armed groups, including international designated terrorist groups, and a United State-led coalition.